Not so long ago I saw a quote what said the biggest risk in life is to not take risk at all and I can say that in the last couple of months I've been taking this advice really hard. You see this year I did everything what I was afraid to do until now. I paid off my car, I sold it right away, I bought this van, I converted it a little bit, it's livable, I don't say it's, it's luxurious but it's livable, I leave my apartment and now I'm deep in this kind of lifestyle. I was afraid at the beginning but I thought I can start everything what I'm planning and figure it out later. You see for the past couple years, maybe two years, I was haunted by this idea of van life but the thing is I was scared, I was scared to start it and the truth is I, I didn't even know how to start, where to start, what I need but this year I had enough and I just started. I just took the big step in my life, the big change and I thought okay I just start and then I figure it out. And the whole stuff with the figuring out it's it's a process. If you start something what you never did before you will not know how to do that thing. So make a goal, follow an idea and keep doing it. And it's normal to be scared, it's normal to not know what's coming. It's scary to put yourself out there, to recognize the opportunities, to take the risk. But you have to do it, you have to do it because we need to live this life, not just go through the life without memories, without experiences. Maybe the most important thing, you can't wait for others to do it with you and definitely you don't have to ask permission from nobody don't wait for others because they don't see the same goal as you see it's your life it's your point of view of your own life so just make it happen Last year went by, I felt kind of down and depressed and I was talking with my co-workers because basically I was working every day, all day long and with them I was basically all day. I tried to talk to them, to speak with them with, about my problems, my vision, my plans and basically they just laughed at me and they didn't believe a word what I was saying until one day I said nothing to them. I just left, I made my plans to quit my job to start van life and I said nothing until one day I just handed my paper that I quit and here I am. After school you fall into a path that basically everyone is taking that you finish school, you get your diploma and you go work and you fall in this path it's basically almost impossible to get out because then you are surrounded by people with that mentality and doesn't matter if you think otherwise they will be drag you down. So just keep in mind, if you want to live your life according to your vision, you have to take the path that not everybody's taking. It will be hard, it will be difficult, it is scary for sure, but believe me, it's worth taking it. Because face it, to take the risk is hard and difficult and scary. But think about waking up for your next 40 years, let's say, and go every day to the same fucking job. This is also scary and difficult. So basically you just need to choose your difficult, to choose with what you want to deal and go for it. My van is down there somewhere on the edge parked. So I have a little bit to walk. Following this path, you will go on the other side of the hill and you have basically a very nice view over a ski resort, I think. But now it's everything melted, but it's still cool. And I'm thinking that tomorrow when I wake up I will take my breakfast and I will go on that side of the hill to eat. just started a little bit of rain, nothing crazy. I am 
Back to the van. It's a little bit cloudy and I think it's gonna rain. But I'm preparing myself anyway to edit the video and eat something. But as a last thought I wanna present you my commitment and my everyday reminder that I took this path and I have to keep going. Before I started everything what I just explained, I went to the tattoo shop and I got this tattoo. It's basically three humans in a very bad health, starving and praying to the eye. Basically this is the photo of the modern people consumerism and every day when I have in mind something and might be a stupid decision I just look at my arm and I remind myself that no I must focus and I must stay on my path that I choose. I'm gonna go now to make something to eat and prepare myself for the night. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.